honestly, first off, we have no direction of what this video is going to consist about. Second, we have our son. Yeah, I don't think it's going to work. Major. Which is fucking fantastic. Uh, today we are doing a couples Q&A because we felt like this was right and it's the perfect thing to do. It's Friday, it's beautiful, it's hot out. We have a pool waiting for us, so let's get this thing started. Well, I don't know. Are you ready? Mm -hmm. So, none of you guys have been asking us for this, but we were gonna give it to you regardless. <laughs> um, who said I love you first? Bro, I think time is you. money, and time is money, and I did. <laughs> yeah, it was it. Yeah, it was me. I was like, man, whatever. I was, I was like, I was man, whatever. I'm just kidding. <laughs> I'm just joking. So, who said it first for real then? No, I think I said it first for sure. She was, she's a special girl. She uh, was everything that I wanted. I was like, dude, hell yeah, let's lock it in, bro. Lock this thing in. Uh, but yeah, I said it, it was about maybe three months in, four months in. Like, it was not four months, months in. It was like, yeah. I would say it jokingly while we were out partying. Yeah, stuff. like when Carlos had too much to drink, he would say it, but I never took it seriously then because like people say that when they're drunk. But yeah. uh, when he really said it, yeah, it was probably like two to three months. Three months, maybe. Yeah, about three months. For real, yeah. Yeah, it was a real, real deal. Holy field. Uh, weird habit of each other. Uh, what's a weird habit of each other? Weird habit. I don't know. I don't have any weird habits. No, I'm just kidding. Um, Wait, we definitely have weird habits. I think her weird habit is... <laughs> day together for the past five years. <laughs> uh, we have habits of each other. I think... I don't feel like we really have... I, maybe we're so weird that we just get each other's weird and it doesn't seem weird to us. Yeah, that's true. I don't know. Weird habit. It might... I don't know. That she's on her phone 24-7, maybe? He's on his phone 24-7. as much. I actually hate my phone. I, I was telling my parents today, I was like, I'm sorry I didn't text anyone back so by the time I'm done working I don't even want to see my phone like I genuinely don't like being on there I wish I didn't have to uh what was your first date what was our first date um we went to a bar well, no that wasn't oh, that, that was, was our, our first, first date. date our first date I, it was but is that the first date that was a meetup I, I feel like when that we, was our first date yeah, but okay, I just so feel like a bumble date, like when you meet someone, it's like not necessarily that was their first, first date. I was like, oh, let's vet. We have to vet this person. We were there for hours. I know, but still. Okay, so I guess that was the first day. It was a, what, was it, was what was it called? Barrel House? Or Barrel something? It was a place called Barrel House, and it was fun. It was cool. It was yeah. uh, a little embarrassing for me because there was a guy who recognized me on the first the first day. Yeah, I, I thought like, he oh, set shit. that up to make yeah, himself really look cool. <laughs> No. I thought I was like, oh my god. I didn't. I was like, I was surprised, and I was just like, I don't know what to say. I was like, yeah, what's up, man? How you doing? Yeah, Carlos from YouTube. And I'm surprised that he, he was like, Carlos, me. Carlos from YouTube, like yeah, that. And I was like, oh my god, that is such bullshit. But it wasn't bullshit. <laughs> it wasn't though, because I wasn't like, hey, what's up, dude? Yeah, I know. Hey. Like, I was just like, I, I, I really was like, I felt like a dick because I was like, yeah, like yeah, I guess, like. I was, I don't know, I didn't know what to do. I was like, yeah, I was kind of embarrassed. And then, uh, and that I- That actually happened multiple times, especially in a, the beginning of our relationship. I know, I was Like, it out, happened, dude. yeah, again, when we were out. It was a We were movie. out at that bowling place. It was like a oh, bowling, yeah, and then this there. guy came up and was saying like, oh, dude, like, I'm a, I'm a big fan, blah, blah, blah. <laughs> and it's for Halloween, too. And in Halloween, yeah, a lot of times it happened a lot in the beginning of our relationship. Actually, what happened to you guys? What the? F I, this is going on my main channel. So I know. What like, what happened to you guys? Because no one comes up to him anymore. anymore. Man, he like lost his fame. Who am I with? I know. <laughs> Just dude, honestly, I did. I really mean, did. What's your favorite restaurant? <sighs> Her favorite restaurant is Kingdom of Dumpling in San Francisco. What's my favorite restaurant? 
Try Kingdom of Dumpling if you guys are in San Francisco. It's really good. It's a hole in the wall. They treat you like shit, but the food's amazing. It has a 3.5 star. Oh yeah, have you guys rating. seen that TikTok of the guy that's saying that like the best way to find like authentic Chinese food is to go for in your city is to go on Yelp and find one that has exactly three and a half stars. Mm -hmm. And because the theory behind it that he says is that the service is trash because like in these like authentic they little restaurants, time. they don't, they're like the service culture is different. And so they're not like tending to you. You have to kind of wave them down and, and so on. And so for like white people, that's like, oh my God, the service looks terrible. Yeah, because they expect yeah. something different. Yeah, but then the food is so, good, so good that it makes up for it. So then it's exactly three and a half. It was so funny because after I saw that, I went on to Yelp and Kingdom <laughs> of Dumpling has three yeah. and a half. <laughs> so stupid. Oh. <laughs> so I'm making fun of me. Is that three and a half? Wow. Shut up. Stand up over here. Okay, next, what's my favorite restaurant? Oh, um, fucking dude. With the, that's the thing is like even Kingdom's not my favorite per se. I think feel like both of us are similar and like we don't have favorites because our like we can't eat the same thing every day, no matter what. Like even if we love something, we're not gonna eat it every day. Yeah. So like we don't really we have like our kind of like rotation in the Bay Area. There's like a rotation of restaurants that we really love. You like Broadway Masala for Indian food, that's in Redwood City. Kingdom of Dumpling in San Francisco. Um, Benchmark Pizza in, uh, what is it, where is Redwood it? Redwood City. Or no, San Benchmark. Mateo. No, Benchmark is in- Oh, sorry, Kensington, near Berkeley. Near yeah, Berkeley. That place, is, that place is really good. Um, what's the um, hot pot, not the hot pot, the Korean barbecue place you like? Oh, Bold in Alameda. Bold in Alameda. Shouts out the Bold in Alameda. Um, There's a- uh, um, uh, I don't know. There's a lot. There's I a mean, lot. my favorite. I think and those all, are like those are favorite, all like mid place, price or low. My price. favorite place to go, I think, usually that I was like, I love this place is uh, Montesacro in San Francisco. The only thing about oh, yeah, that place pizza. is it's like super sketchy to get into because it's on. Uh, oh yeah, there's market and mission and six. There's crackheads everywhere. Mission and six. Like yeah, you'll you like, literally have to pass people like fucking on the street, a pile of poop. Okay. How long have we been together? We've been together for five years. Almost. It's yeah, not five, almost years five years yet. Almost five years. Uh, what pisses you off? Uh, a lot pisses her off. Uh, right? It does. A lot. You were mad just a couple of minutes ago. Um, what pisses him off is... No patience. Not having patience. Yelling pisses him off. Um, yeah, don't yell. Don't guys don't yell. Yeah, yelling pisses him off. Negativity pisses him off, fu funny, funny enough. Mm -hmm. um, what else pisses you? Not having your coffee in the morning. He's, a, he's, kind, of, he's kind of like rough in the morning. He's, he's a super low energy in the morning until he has his coffee. He's like, I just need my coffee. <laughs> I know, dude, I really do. Cause he yeah, has a pretty upbeat energy majority of the time and he's like really always, pretty much always in a good mood, but besides sometimes in the morning. Or like sometimes, he, like if you don't sleep in a little bit, like not that you ever sleep in super late, but if you don't sleep in a little bit, you can get mad. Yeah, it You can definitely if get I, mad. If I, if I, I like wake him up too early. Or if I have if I have the plans to sleep in, I like to sleep in. If I, if I need to go to the gym or something at 5 a.m. or whatever, or 6, if I have plans to do it, I will. But if I'm, if I'm like, I'm just, sleep in I have nothing to do and someone wakes me up through I just feel like, like mornings are not neither one of our thing like yeah. we're not really morning and I have people. puffy eyes in the morning I don't <laughs> do what pisses you off um, I think negativity pisses you off as well to a certain extent yeah um, and also intolerance not listening pisses you off. oh yeah not listening that does piss you off and oh my god, that, I, that's like, that's probably one of the things we bicker about, huh? And if she's not on her phone, it pisses her off too. <laughs> yeah. uh, what's my best friend's name? Your, be your best friend's name? Okay, I'm going to say that Tess is your best friend's name. That's true. I think Tess is your best and friend. And who else? Just for the sake of this video. 
Just for the sake of my YouTube friends. Jordan O'Brien. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> she almost missed you, Jordan. No, of course. No, Jordy. Jordan. He misses um, you, Jordy. Your best friend. Probably your sister, April. Yes. My sister, April, is my best friend. Uh, what's your favorite video game? I'm not a fucking loser. Yeah, who I'm just kidding. <laughs> no shit, because I know a yeah, lot of people. I wish like I wish games. I played video games. I, I really we just don't have the attention span for a video game. Like honestly. Yeah, no, I wish I did. Was good at video games. All my friends were good at video games growing up, and I would go play like, um, <clears throat> what's that Call of Duty, and I would wreck, dude. I, I mean, not wreck in a good way, but I would just be like not doing any kills. I didn't know how to handle the guns. I didn't know how to do anything. So the only, you, the only so thing I played was like Gran like Turismo. I played Gran Turismo. Was fun. And I just like to play games and I like to do things. So like when I played Grand Theft Auto, I just was like into like breaking into cars and stuff in real life. Oh my god, and you know what I first met? You know, like met? it was just weird. Like real life. <laughs> yeah, so like if I, if I played like a dirt bike game on videos, like I had a dirt bike, so I'm like, oh, let me go ride. If I had a car, a racing game, I'd go drive fast on the freeway. If I played Grand Theft Auto, I'd go pick up a prostitute. You know, it's things like that. <laughs> I don't know. No, okay, so you know when I first met Carlos, he... Um, told me that he hates playing games in general. I do. Like he hates playing games, <clears throat> but they're so fucking fun. Like, I think the the uh, the possibility of you losing is just too great. For it's you. not that. I just don't. I, I don't like the. I never liked team sports. I don't like the culture of like. Um, you don't like team sports. You don't like people working together for a common goal. No, I, I, I like to see it. I don't like to be in it. I like, I'm more of a lone No, but like, okay, so, but I feel like you came around to games. He still is like I reluctant. Still do. Yeah, I still He's do. still reluctant, but like, they're fun. Like, playing games with the right people is fun. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I learned from Tess to play games. Yeah. The hard way. I learned with you to play games a good way. Yeah, because by the Tess, time... Tess and all listen, her friends would love video games, I mean, games like that, and I would suck at it, and they would, like, make And fun. he was just a party pooper, I, it would, from what I hear, from him and from Tess. When I when, when like, the games, yeah. When, when it, it comes to games, to games sure. yeah, and you would just be... I was be like, let's just drink. Yeah, you'd time. just be annoying about it. But he, he came to me more enlightened. Yeah. Like a more enlightened species, so he was open to well, things. Well, their <laughs> friend... Uh, uh, the thing is, like, I, I like to poke fun at people, people poke fun at me, but I was, like, I think at that time when I was, like... I got traumatized because I was like hungover and then they were telling me to play games and I was like not good at it and they were making fun of me and I was like, dude, I'm so hungover, I can't read bottle and I was just like getting pissed off. And then um, with you guys, you guys are more patient, you guys play the games. They are too, they are too. Tess was good at her friends, but they were really like, we're playing games tonight, yeah! Dude, that's so fun. I want to go play games with them. That sounds yeah, fun to me. Yeah, let's do it. Um, like, yeah, let's do it. <laughs> What else do we have? Any other questions? Let's see. I think that's pretty much it. If you guys want us to do more of these little things, then let me know. That's um, it? Boo, boo. I'm, yeah. I'm sad. That was yeah, sad. We have one more video to film too for you guys. Uh, so we'll do that. And then, yeah, if you guys want to know more about us, let us know down below. If you guys want, to, want us to do any particular Q&A in terms of couples, let us know if any Q&A regarding anything else any subjects that you guys are interested in interested in let me let us know as well because we are here for it and we will continue to pump content and don't forget to follow us on twice the mood by carlos roberto um all that all yeah. that all right guys have fun enjoy your weekend be safe